Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Travis. Here we are with another lesson. Um, I actually had found this one. I had pre-recorded. Uh, didn't know I had it until today. So we had been recording for our affiliate schools and I had found some content that I had actually meant to post to them. So that's where this lesson is coming from. Um, it's a little bit more advanced, so I'll say this will technically be our first true advanced lesson we're posting, but I'm going to try to simplify it. That way everybody can train it and drill it um, when I'm explaining it in the notes, okay? Don't be intimidated to push your limits to what you can do, and know that on Monday we're going to get an announcement, and hopefully we can start doing a countdown as to when the gym will officially be reopened. I'm sure we're going to have to change some things in some capacity, but we are prepared to do just about anything necessary, okay? Hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys, and see you soon. Oh. Just a basic hook sweep, okay? Lots of variations on how to set this up. I'm gonna show the most basic of ones. You can start here, okay? Uh, over under on the uh, the over side. I'm gonna pinch the tricep or with my overhook, pinch the elbow. My underhook's here. I'm gonna lead with my head, lift with my leg, and turn. Something you can add is that he captures my foot, okay? And now I hit my cut through the pass. Why add that? Well, you add three more points to your scoring, so you can even allow him to catch your foot there, okay? It's also realistic, guys, to grab your foot there. So, not wrong, grabbing your skin and throw it that way. All right, again, we pummel, boom, pitch, kick, turn, if he controls my foot, I cut through, okay? That's one grip you can use. Another grip we've been talking about here, if I control the arm, and I pull the arm here, and now I use the same hook for here. Okay, same idea. Maybe a rolling back take from here. Lots of cool options. Okay. Next thing we talked about this today. All right, in our classes. The person's giving you problems by posting up on their legs. So we go, you still have that you're gonna hit this sweep, but now your foot that you're not using, you need to hit above his knee. It can even be his hip. I'm gonna kick it out, and then I'm gonna sweep him over. Okay, I'm showing that very slowly. That's meant to be a little bit of a faster technique, more fluid, but again, the same situation is this. I pull the arm over, this gets here. I try to sweep him, he posts on his legs. Okay, okay, it's hard to post there, sorry. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He goes, boom, he posts there, boom. All I'm gonna do, kick from the knee up. I kick the hip this time. I roll him. Ooh. Okay. Options one and two right there. Fundamentals. I think everyone needs to learn. Last thing, we'll just make it in one video. He's in, give him his space here, okay? With this space now, I'm gonna curl both legs like this. One leg curls, one leg comes out, that's gonna be my power leg and I'm gonna take a shot on it. I can do a blast double like this. I can do a, a body clinch, I can do a normal double leg. I can do any form of takedown I want, but we're gonna go off at an angle. Here. Good practice. His knees are facing outside. I'm going to go the other way. That's not 100% of the time of thing, but most of the time, as we build fundamentals, it's a good principle to learn. All right. One more. Now I have space. I can't clinch. I can't get close. He's stalling. Now I got to force the action. Okay. A few ways to set this up. We use our grip. Maybe he's posting on me. Okay. Close it down. Boom. We're close in here. I break the grip and shoot in. Okay. Maybe he's putting two hands here. Okay, he's just posted on like this. Turn here. Maybe he's not doing anything. Here. Okay. So that's a few basic butterfly options combined with the other videos. And probably build a curriculum for the week. Okay. Let me know what you guys think. We'll add more videos tomorrow. Uh, and the geek. Alright? Cool.
Here the audio is scrambled, but what you want to go ahead and do is achieve a two-on-one grip on your opponent's arm. As you can see, uh, I'm showing many variations of a two-on-one. Even if they grab their your head, you can achieve somewhat of a two-on-one. Um, just so that's a little bit more clear, I wanted to do a voiceover. We're just looking to do a two-on-one grip on one of our opponent's arm, and you're also going to put your foot in the same hip of the side of the arm you're controlling. That way there's no weight on the opposite side leg, as you can see here. Okay? Pull him in. Okay? From here, we don't worry about pulling the arm over. Some guys even complain that this is aiding in his escape. Mm -hmm. Don't pull my knee to the mat. Do all that. I don't really want to worry too much about the arm, so we're fine with it being here. I'm going to grab the shin or grab the head. Rotate till my knee starts to turn down, okay? Pinch, seal, squeeze, okay? Now, something you could see, Chris did in his last match shouting at him. It's immediate if someone begins to try to pick you up or something like that, that we start to underhook the leg. That way we don't get slammed. That will always be an option if they go to slam us. If they don't go to slam us but do something else, we'll always have the option of coming under the belly, okay, or coming under the arm and start attacking kind of that inverted arm lock from here as well. All right, so one time, fully set up. Two on one, it can be any two on one you prefer. Put on the hip, this leg becomes weightless. Cool, boom, shin control. Rotate the knee, boom. Super easy, uh, something you can try, add to your training, you're making a warm up, kids can do it, adults, good for everybody to train. All right, try it out. All right, next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna load his weight up. So at a minimum, we wanna be behind the triceps. We wanna achieve underhooks better. Our best to get it deep here on the like either way, or even I just grab the arm weights here. I'm going to load the weight. I'm not going to misdirect. Okay, I'm bring my hand out. I bring my foot in now. Ideally, we look for a toe hold here or an IDJJF, but even sub only. <coughs> Pinky, wrist here, curl, get our tap. Okay, we can bring the outside leg around, securing our position further. Okay, we can knee bar. All right, lots of cool attacks there. All right, we're thinking IBJJF. We started on bottom, so it's no risk to do that. If he starts to come into us, all right, that's fine. We have our Ashi sweep, but his weight is kind of misdirected right now. As you can see, the opponent's weight is misdirected, so you can further off balance them with the back leg and insert your back foot into reverse X guard. At this point, elevate, and you can shoot into our 411, uh, honey hole position, whatever you want to call it, and immediately available will be an IBJJF legal straight ankle lock, a variation grip to the same straight ankle lock, or of course my favorite, the heel hook. Okay, and I show some grip variations on that. Okay, so we're coming back up and going through the whole technique again. Elevate, shoot to Ashi. If you can, you have options there, or go to reverse X guard, elevate, shoot, and you have several finish options there as well. He'll hook my favorite. Another advanced series from the butterfly guard. This is a great position to begin taking the back. Notice I'm achieving a two on one grip again, pulling the arm slightly over. I even showed a reverse Kimura grip here. Elevate the, apart, the opponent's hips or your partner's hips, just like so. But now you're going to want to remove one of your legs and push the arm over in order to take the back, just like that. We'll notice he's going to be on the bottom side of this, okay? So what we like to do, ensure the back control by first bringing this across the waist and this leg high. If we can't do anything else, this is fine, okay? We could go body triangle, great control, okay? We could go to the half back ride that we were talking about today, where I, I have a body triangle, but I put this foot on the inside leg, okay? Like this, a different form of control, a little bit more current than some of the guys are doing, all right? Ideally, we'll be able to wedge this arm down, trap, control across grip, start attacking our rear naked choke, all 
All right, if you know other attacks from here though, you're more than welcome to integrate them. If you know a different style of back control, you can integrate that into this. Right now we're just really worried about taking the back. We're playing IBJJF, we're just gonna get our hooks in. We're here, I pull them in, boom, just like so. Kick. IBJJF style. Okay. So just keep that in mind when you're training. We have to really lift, push the arm, pull it out, kick our legs, and we'll be on the back. All right, try it. Ready, one, two, three. 